for this one is uh, it's a lot of supersets today. So it's Nathan's training system. First one is going to be crossover superseted with the, the front raises. So get a bit of blood in and then it's drop sets, four of those. Um, then we move on to the incline fly supersetted with a, a front raise on an incline bench. Should be interesting. People might know or might not know, I've got a pet that's been ruptured three times. So I make sure I get warmed up. Uh, plenty of warm-up uh, sets. I tend to find I actually get stronger as the session gets out, goes on. Um, whereas Frosty's the other way around. He actually fatigues quite quickly. For anyone who's wondering who this man is, it's my uh, training partner slash best friend. Not my choice. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Oh my god. That is shit. Oh. I felt like it was going on forever. Oh. I haven't got blood pressure issues. The fuck look bright red because it fucking hurt that bad. Shit. <laughs> Off then. Let's go. No number, let's get it done. Finish it off. Two. Let's go. Three. Four. It's on you. Good. Let's go. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Up. Three. Two. One more. Good. 
So I think, uh, I think we'll uh, take the headphones off. He'll make for a bit of a better video, I think. Yep. A fly movement for me is where I feel most vulnerable. So when I tone my pack, that bottom part there is really weak. Um, but all the more reason for me to do it, make it stronger. Um, but you'll always see, because it's still detached, you'll always see an asymmetry issue there. Uh, so theoretically, he should be stronger than me on this. But he's not. Flat dumbbell press, flat dumbbell press, straight into a lateral raise. I just found money. That was a quick change of moves. Hey, funny guy. <laughs> so this one is a flat dumbbell press into a seated raise. So I can't imagine we're gonna be going super heavy. So we can stay in here. The dumbbells go up to 50. Yeah. So I think we'll be okay. We'll stick with 50s. And um, we'll start with these. We'll do 50s. And then we'll do some side raises. Um, see what we got. So the uh, seated variation of a lateral raise is uh, it's much harder for Frosty because he's got a tendency to use momentum because the shoulders are one of his weakest body parts. So this would be an absolute nightmare for him, but uh, if it's hard, then it's worth doing. <laughs> I insult him daily, but we call it constructive criticism. It pushes me harder. It doesn't push him harder. It, I'll be honest with you, he's, uh, <laughs> he's one of them people I have absolutely no idea how somebody can be so motivated in the gym, but then the complete opposite outside. The man lives on cookies. <laughs> so this one, it's a standard six to eight. So, we're going to be going heavier on this one. Well, I say heavier, we're pretty fucked. But, man up. So Frosty is um, very chest dominant, shall we say. So his shoulders, they tend to fatigue very easily. He's not particularly, I wouldn't say he's weak. He just blows out very quickly. So, um, it's something we're trying to work on. Um, but some people have always, got, most people have got something they're always a little bit weaker on. For me, it's chest. Um, the shoulders, I was normally pretty strong, but I've said that now. I fucking. So we've got a decline machine press. I think that's in there. Three sets, eight to 15, that's a fucking big range. We'll uh, 
Anything from six to 100 is fine. But anything more than 100, then you, you need to up the weight. an element of irony in what uh, Vest Frosty's wearing because he is a real princess. The only man I know who can do a full session with his nipples hanging out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody wanting to see those hamburger nipples. Obviously the lighting is not the best in you, but um, on my Instagram I've been putting photos up, so you get an idea of how I look for full transparency and all. I mean, it's not the finished product uh, by any means, but I'm a lot fuller, a lot bigger this time. Um, conditions coming in. So I think in five and a half weeks time, it should be the best I've ever looked. I'm currently about 17 pound heavier than I was when I last competed. So uh, hopefully that makes for a much better package this time. So this is episode three of the experiment. Um, I'm just gonna quickly run through my post-workout meal. Um, my nutrition and a quick update on what I've been doing so so far. Um, so post workout is 50 grams of slightly dextrin in there, and then we'll go with an isolate. So today I think we'll go with a Nutella flavour. These are the supplements that I'm currently using. So we've got the Carbo Max, uh, Essential Max, which is the uh, EAA, and that's from Strom. We've got protein both from Yummy Sports, the nice tasty uh, different flavours and my pre-workout is uh, the Train by JP stuff. I find that stuff's the best at the minute, it's uh, expensive but it's worth it. So also workout is uh, 50 grams of whey isolate with 50 grams of uh, psychic dextrin, which I've got over there. Um, my meal is going to be 225 grams of chicken and 200 grams of white potato with broccoli. Well, supposedly broccoli, but I've got um, just a greens mix, which I use. Um, so the diet itself hasn't changed. It's working. So. Just a quick run through of what my diet would be. Um, meal one, we'll go away. I'll show you. I don't have a great deal. I uh, I've got to go shopping. So meal one, we've got egg whites. We've got steak. Uh, meal two is white fish and sweet potatoes, which actually in the oven. Third meal is chicken and sweet potato. Fourth meal, chicken, white potato. Fifth meal is fish and rice. And my last meal left before bed is steak and greens. It's fairly straightforward stuff. No rocket science. Uh, it doesn't need to be complicated. Um, but it's working, it's a lot of food. It's expensive, but um, for a prep, it's doing everything it needs to do. Uh, cardio is still at uh, an hour in the morning, 20 minutes in the night, horse workout. Um, and obviously it's five and a half weeks out now, so this is where all the interesting stuff comes in. Um, this is where I've done this, I don't even know why I'm doing it again. I'm doing it on the camera, just realised. 
I almost doubled up on my protein then. Um, so obviously this is where things need to be stepped up really. Um, if excuse me, I do have a little bit of OCD in my kitchen. I do like it to stay clean. Um, but this is where things get interesting now for me. Um, I'm assuming Nathan will start to take food away eventually. But for now I'm enjoying the food being quite high. I'm having cheat meals quite regular, so I'm doing cheat meals twice a week at the minute. Well, as and when needed, but it tends to be twice a week. And um, some days we're dropping cardio out, some days we're up in the carbs. Um, but as a rule of thumb, the diet is as I said. So, like I said, we're five and a half weeks out now. I did a little um, preview of how I look, I guess, in the gym. Um, just for full transparency, I guess. You'll see that I'm obviously not, not completely shredded yet, but you could see that I'm, I've improved significantly from last time. So the nature of this whole series is working. The experiment was just to see how I would respond doing it full time. And um, I seem to have responded very well. It's, uh, it's not glorious, like I've said previously, um, but I'm resting, I'm training, I'm eating, I'm sleeping, and that's literally all I'm doing. It's, uh, it, some days it kind of feels like I'm being lazy, but I can see it in my physique. My physique is getting so much better. Um, so we'll see, hopefully, finished product in five and a half weeks. We'll, um, we'll show dividends. So last week I managed to book my tan. I booked my hotel and I've also registered for the show. So the show I'm doing is the uh, two rows in Watford. It's the regional qualifier. Uh, fully committed to the show now, all in. Um, so hopefully you'll see in the next couple of episodes the progress. Um, and maybe even if I'm lucky, I can drag Laz up to uh, Watford to see if uh, we can get some of the captured on video for you.